Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Do you know what's awesome? Food is awesome. Look at pizza and tell me you don't feel something. But do you really know what your food is made out of? Bugs, antifreeze, and gluten, oh my. Sure, it can be spooky to think about, but is it completely harmless or should you stay away? Before we get started, talk to your doctor about consuming this stuff. You probably already know if you're allergic to something by now, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Let's begin. We'll start with Carmen, which is also known as natural red dye or crimson lake. It's most commonly found in candies, sodas, and even some makeup, like lipstick or blush. This ingredient may actually cause allergic reactions to some people. Besides Besides that, it's relatively harmless unless you happen to be a vegan or vegetarian. Carmen is extracted from the bodies of scale insects such as the cochineal. Yum! Next stop, gluten town. That word is everywhere nowadays and it kind of gets a bad rap. Gluten is a protein found in grains such as wheat, barley, and rye. That's it. It can be found in many processed foods such as bread, pasta, and pizza. Gluten, when mixed with water and wheat flour, makes bread sticky and more easily shapeable. Now, some people actually have severe allergies to gluten, also known as celiac disease. If these people did decide to eat gluten, it would lead to the damage of their small intestines. Not good. However, it's not dangerous to you if you don't have an allergy or an intolerance. Eat all the garlic bread your little heart desires if you are medically able to. Now, what about this antifreeze that everyone's been talking about? No, you haven't heard of that in food? Well, you see, propylene glycol is one of the main components of antifreeze, and it can also be found in many foods such as ice cream, cake, and frosting as a thickener or preservative. You would have to try pretty hard to consume enough of this stuff to where it would have side effects, but if it did happen to you, you might experience some cardiovascular problems and your skin might be a bit irritated. How about something else that comes from insects? It's called shellac. It's made from the secretions of the lac insect. Gross. But don't be too creeped out. This isn't so different than getting honey from a bee. Shellac is most often used as a glaze on candies, gum, coffee beans, and even fruit. Shellac has not been known to have any adverse effects on the body, so it's a-okay as long as you're not allergic to it. Or vegan. This one's a little bit funky. It's called carrageenan. It's extracted from seaweed and it's used to thicken and stabilize food or beverages. It's most commonly found in things like soy milk, yogurt, and even ice cream. Seems harmless, right? Well, not so much. This ingredient can cause inflammation and digestive issues. Of course, everything in moderation, but I would keep an eye out for this one. So I want to know, what's your favorite food? Any funky allergies or dietary preferences? Don't forget to come back every Monday for a brand new video. We can eat pixel pizza together. It's gluten-free. And if you want even more Life Noggin, check out these other episodes and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.